with the desire for bigger and more elaborate buildings than ever before to be built more quickly and as cost-effective as possible, traditional construction techniques simply aren't up to the job of modern-day requirements. This has led to the development of incredible machinery to help get the work done that can do in a day something that would have previously taken weeks to complete. Welcome to the world of monster machines and powerful devices as we look at the top 15 amazing construction tools. Number 15. Ultra Trencher 1 The world relies on supplies of oil and gas to power machinery and produce electricity. But one of the difficulties that companies responsible for extracting these materials face is that some of the most fruitful sources are deep out in the ocean. To transport it back to land requires a large network of subterranean pipes that instead of being simply laid on the seabed and subjected to ocean currents, are often laid in trenches. To build a trench large enough to hold a pipe at the bottom of the ocean requires a highly specialized machine, and the biggest in the world is known as the Ultra Trencher 1. It's the largest submersible robot to have ever been built, and uses a pair of water jet swords to carve trenches up to 3 feet in diameter at depths of up to 5,000 feet. At a cost of around $13 million, it makes slow progress and up to 3 knots when underwater but the protection the trench provides for the pipes that are laid in it makes the effort more than worth it. Number 14. LTM 11200 9.1 Virtually every construction site you see around the world will have at least one crane that's used to carry heavy loads to higher levels. But while some standard cranes are usually more than enough for most projects, some work requires the use of something much bigger. In times like those, project managers can turn to the LTM 11200 9.1, the largest mobile crane made by Liebherr, and the one that has the longest telescopic boom in the world. With a maximum load capacity of 1,500 tons, its boom can reach out up to 328 feet, and it can lift the payload 617 feet into the air. It has nine axles and a six-cylinder diesel engine that's dedicated to lifting operations, which means that not only can it hoist heavier loads higher, but can also do this quicker, too. What's also particularly useful is that it can be set up and packed away extremely quickly, too, and with a top speed of 47 miles an hour on the road, can be at the next site in no time. It's cranes like these that are used on the largest construction projects, but also to install multiple wind turbines across wide areas much more efficiently than has ever been possible before. Number 13. APE Octacong a vibratory driver extractor is a machine that uses a combination of counter-rotating weights and hydraulic motors to produce vertical vibrations that are channeled into a pile that then digs downward into the ground. They're particularly useful for drilling holes that can then be filled with the steel supports needed to provide the foundations to large structures. And this is even more important when trying to secure a large rig or platform at sea to neutralize the effect of the ocean current and waves. The largest machine of this type in the world is the APE Octacong, and it's enormous. It was used, for example, in 2011 to place the foundations for two artificial islands as part of the Hong Kong Zuhai Macau Bridge Project, and to do so, it drove piles into the seabed that were up to 72 feet in diameter, 180 feet high, and weighing up to 660 tons. Despite being designed specifically for this task, it takes a huge amount of planning and preparation to make it happen. That project took two years to design, seven months to complete, and at its fastest saw just six piles being driven into the seabed in three days. Without a machine like the APE Octacong to do this, though, the idea of creating the islands would have never gotten off the ground, because there would have been no way to provide the foundations to hold them in place that were needed. Number 12. The Super Maxi Agitator if a construction project involves building foundations and placing bricks, then one material that's definitely going to be needed is concrete, and lots of it. Making it is in itself a full-time role. Many construction sites have a whole team of people whose job it is to keep the concrete flowing. But you could, as an alternative, have it driven instead. In 2017, Hansen Construction Materials in Australia made headlines as they added a new vehicle to the fleet the Super Maxi Agitator, which at the time was the largest cement truck in the country. With the company's construction crews working in the Garden City of Toowoomba on multiple projects such as a highway, school, and hospital upgrades, and plenty more, it wasn't economical for them to set up a mixer at each site, and instead had this monstrous vehicle constantly driving around town to deliver concrete directly. Mounted to a semi-trailer instead of a truck, it's able to hold over 400 cubic feet of material at a time, 
which is substantially more than the 247 cubic feet held by a regular one. That's enough to build an entire two-car garage out of concrete alone, and meant that there was plenty to go around to everywhere that needed it. Number 11. Spider Excavator Excavators are a common machine seen on building sites that are used to dig up the ground for a number of purposes. The problem, though, is that they tend to be bulky and large, and are only really able to be used to their full effect when they're on flat or close to flat land. Of course, plenty of construction projects happen on uneven terrain, and in situations like this, there's an alternative, a machine called a spider excavator. It has all the power and digging ability of a regular excavator, but is mounted on large wheels that are at the end of hydraulic arms and can be adjusted to allow it to go virtually anywhere. Spider excavators can work on nearly vertical slopes across pretty much any type of terrain, and it's designed so that it can step over obstacles instead of having to move them out of the way. The tires spread the load to reduce the pressure exerted on the ground beneath, which means they're much safer to use on sensitive sites than other machinery, and can even be used for projects in or around waterways. This makes the spider ideal for awkward construction projects, but also for restoration work where power is needed, but it's vital that as little disruption is caused as possible. Number 10. Curved Blade 100 Tree Spade The unfortunate reality of construction is that quite often, nature has to be moved out of the way before things can begin. And whether it's right or wrong to do this, at least there's a machine that's able to take trees out of the ground so they can then be replanted somewhere else. Originally created for the horticultural industry so fully grown trees could be sold to customers, the curved bladed 100 tree spade is the ideal machine for the job. Mounted to a tandem axle truck, it surrounds the tree and keeps it protected as it digs the spades into the ground around it and then lifts up the entire thing in one go. The operator can determine how tightly the blades are orientated to prevent damage to low branches, and extra features have been added to improve the overall efficiency and speed of the process. With a curved blade 100 tree spade, you can lift trees of up to 12 feet in height from the ground in a matter of seconds, which means there's no longer any excuse to simply chop them down to get them out of the way. Number 9. SAM 100 Bricklayer One of the most time-consuming jobs on a construction site is the laying of bricks. Traditionally, the whole process is done by hand, with a worker needing to apply the cement and carefully put the bricks into place. And of course, when this is your job, you can learn to do this extremely quickly and precisely. But now there are also machines that can do the same thing. Called the SAM 100 Bricklayer, it was designed by a US-based company called Construction Robotics. According to them, the SAM, which stands for Semi-Automated Mason, is capable of laying up to 300 bricks per hour. This, of course, could be controversial because it seems like it's a robot that's designed to replace someone's job. But the company has gone to lengths to highlight the fact that a human mason is also integral to the process. While the machine takes on the heavy lifting and placing of every brick, it needs a human worker to set things up and ensure the overall quality of the wall is sound. Even with the added cost of the machine, along with the need for a worker to watch over it, studies have suggested that it can help the job get done in a quicker time, reduce the cost of per brick laid, and significantly improves the health and safety of the worker on site because they aren't being required to do such strenuous activities. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Guardian Exo Exoskeleton Originally designed for military purposes, the Guardian Exo Exoskeleton could be well about to arrive on construction sites around the world, and if it does, it could be an absolute game changer. It was developed by Sarcos Robotics, a company that's been exploring the use of robotic exoskeletons for decades, and after 30 years of research and investment of more than $300 million, they were ready to unveil their first viable commercial product in 2019. Described as being a 24 degrees of freedom full-body robotic exoskeleton, it enhances the operator's strength and allows them to lift weights of up to 200 pounds, while feeling like they're lifting something that weighs just 10 pounds. It's fully electrically powered and can run in constant use for two hours on a single charge. It takes mere seconds to put it on or take off. One of the benefits, according to the company, is that it will only take a few minutes for someone to learn how to use the exoskeleton properly. The suit itself weighs 150 pounds, but because it's self-supporting, none of this weight is felt by the user. Of course, a tool like this doesn't come cheap, and the company isn't even offering them for sale yet. Instead, companies are able to lease one at a price of about $100,000 per year, 
and it's hoped that soon enough they'll be able to prove that it's economically viable to keep using them. Number 7. The Akko Superdozer Built by the Umberto Akko Company in Italy, the Akko Superdozer is the biggest and most powerful bulldozer to have ever been made. It was originally intended for use in Libya to help with the country's great man-made river project in the 80s, but because of political issues it was never delivered, and the company was unable to find another buyer. This means that this behemoth of a machine has never seen a full day's work in its life, and we can only imagine how incredible it would have been on a construction site. Weighing just under 202 tons, it's powered by two Caterpillar engines that produce a combined output of 1,350 horsepower. At 40 feet long, 23 feet wide, and 10 feet tall, the blade itself is 23 feet wide and 9 feet high, and the Ripper, which is powered by hydraulic arms, is 10 feet tall. There is no doubt that it would have been able to shift a huge amount of material had it ever been put to use, but instead it was put in storage near to the factory where it was built, and is now being kept in a local garden center. After the company built it went out of business, and the hope is that one day it will finally be put on display. Number 6. Big Bertha When the city of Seattle needed to embark upon a huge construction project to dig a two-mile-long double-decker tunnel to be a new section of State Route 99, it soon became apparent that there wasn't a single machine in the world that was either large enough nor powerful enough to do the job. Instead, it required an entirely new machine to be built, and the result would become known as Big Bertha. Constructed by the Hitachi Zosen Sakai Works in Osaka, Japan at a cost of $80 million, it immediately became the largest tunnel boring machine in the world. Amazingly, the cutter head had a diameter of 57 and a half feet, and the whole machine itself was 326 feet long to accommodate all of the equipment it needed and weighed a whopping 6,700 tons. It was so heavy and bulky that it couldn't be delivered to Seattle in one piece and had to be separated into 41 sections that could be put back together on site. It was finally ready to go in July of 2013, and even though there was a two-year delay because of damage to the cutter head, it had completed the tunnel by 2017, and it was ready to open for public use by February of 2019. Considering other tunnel projects have taken much longer to finish, it's a testament to the design and power of Big Bertha that it was done in such a short time frame. Number 5. The Vogel SB300 With an increasing number of people relying on cars to travel, roads are being built at the fastest rate around the world at any point in history. It's not just providing the roads that's important, though, because the large volumes of traffic require wider roads, too. And to make this as quick and easy a process as possible, manufacturers are designing incredible machines. Probably the most impressive is the Vogel SB300, which is a fixed-width screed. It's used to lay down asphalt onto a pre-prepared surface and then smooths it out for a perfect finish. The company has incorporated a number of different technologies to make this possible, including the patented high-compaction system with pressure bars, an eccentric vibrator that shakes the screened plate and frame to ensure the grain size of the material is even throughout, and a tamper which ensures the screed is compacted and settled properly. By incorporating all of these processes into one machine, there's very little to do to a pavement or road once the Vogel SB300 is passed over. It's been specifically designed for projects on the larger end of the scale, so while it can still perform a perfectly good job on widths from 10 feet across, it's able to increase this size of up to 52 and a half feet. Number 4. The HT275 Trencher in a lot of ways, it's what happens underground during a construction process that's more complex than what happens overground. The foundations have to be dug to appropriate depth to ensure the final structure will remain stable, but all the supply pipes and cables, such as those for electricity, water, and gas, are usually installed underground too. Historically, this would have been done by hand, where workers would use spades to dig a deep trench so that everything could be routed along. But on larger projects, that job is now a thing of the past, and a trencher is used instead. One of the largest that's used on land-based construction sites in the world is the HT275 Trencher, also known as the Ditch Witch. Powered by a Cummins 275 horsepower engine, it's able to dig trenches of up to 10 feet deep and 2 feet wide, which is normally plenty of room for pipelines, drains, utility pipes, and most other things that are needed. It's fitted with a track tilt feature that allows it to operate on uneven terrain, and the speed of the trencher chain drive can be adjusted to optimize its performance on the type of soil it's digging into. Machines like this have significantly improved the efficiency of trench digging, and as a result make the process of preparing the foundations a much quicker and easier one. 
Number three, the Belaz 75710. When working on any type of construction site, a lot of material is dug up that needs to be removed. The best type of vehicle for doing this job is a haul truck. But what do you do if you're working on one of the world's largest mines, where you'd need a fleet of standard sized trucks to keep up with the amount of earth that's being moved? The answer is to use an ultra class haul truck, and the biggest of them all is the Belaz 75710. Designed specifically for the transport requirement in mining operations, it's 67 feet long and just over 32 feet wide and a little more than 27 feet tall. It's powered by two V16 diesel engines that produce 4,600 horsepower, and these are connected to two AC alternators and four AC traction motors, two of which are in each axle. The result is an incredibly powerful machine that itself weighs 400 tons, but it's able to transport loads of up to 500 tons. Amazingly, with all this weight, it's able to travel at an operating speed of 25 miles an hour, something it can maintain even when it's going up or down a 10% gradient. Number 2. SSCV Sleepnir First entering service in 2019 and at a cost of $1 billion, the SSCV Sleepnir is the world's largest semi-submersible crane vessel. Named after the name of the eight-legged horse that in Norse mythology was ridden by Odin, it has two main cranes that each can lift a weight of up to 11,000 tons and can work together to lift loads of up to 22,000 tons. Although it's technically a ship, it's more like a movable platform that's 720 feet long and 333 feet wide. It's held in place by eight columns, four of which are on each side, and has been specifically designed with learnings from previous models to reduce wave interactions and drag. The columns are also where the ballast and LNG is stored to free up as much deck space as possible for operations. It's powered by 12 eight-cylinder four-stroke engines, each of which weighs 49 tons and produces 10,500 horsepower, and when at full power can reach a top speed of 12 miles per hour. That's of course because it's so heavy with a displacement of 301,000 tons. This means it also requires a 12-point mooring system with six 13-ton anchors to help hold it in place when it's conducting lifting operations. On the deck, there's 130,000 square feet of space for cargo, and there's room on board for a 400-strong crew. All of this means that the SSCV Sleepnir is ideal for performing roles like installing gas platforms, as well as removing ones that are no longer viable, and has most recently been working on oil fields in the Mediterranean and North Sea. Number 1. Bagger 293 Bucket Wheel Excavator the absolutely enormous Bagger 293 Bucket Wheel Excavator is one of the largest vehicles on the planet, and it's so big that it's hard to even comprehend how massive it truly is. Measuring 314 feet tall, 738 feet long, and weighing more than 15,000 tons, it's responsible for moving the top layer of earth from a coal mine in Germany to expose the coal seams beneath. It sat on top of 12 caterpillar tracks that allow it to be moved into place at a top speed of 32 feet per minute. And once it's in position, the bucket wheel is ready to dig away at the earth. To do this, it has an almost 70 foot diameter blade and has 18 buckets that can each carry around 530 cubic feet of soil. All of this combines to mean that the Bagger 293 is able to shift more than 241,000 tons of soil in a single day which would easily be enough to fill a hundred Olympic-sized swimming pools. Something this size can't simply be powered by onboard engines, so instead is fed by a constant 16-megawatt external power supply. It's also quite complicated to operate, and despite being upgraded several times since it was built in 1995, and now featuring a number of computer systems that oversee what it's doing, it still requires five full-time workers to keep in operation. Despite being the biggest and most powerful land vehicle on Earth, the fact that it has held this record for more than 25 years shows that it's just about at the limit of what's possible. The need for such power and Earth-moving abilities is reducing as we move away from mining for fuel and looking for alternatives, so it's quite possible that the Bagger 293 will remain the largest of its kind in the world for a long time to come. Watch our Machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.